Good job. You see my new shears? Now, Max, I'm trying to watch the game. I just want those. Hey, hey. Just in time to see your All-American team go down the drain. Yeah, hey, shut your face, Sam. <laughs> Who's on the mound for the Aces? McPherson. Best lefty in the league. Yeah, but they got Santana at the plate. You know, if the big guy was at the plate, I'd be a little worried. But McPherson's gonna teach this illegal why they call baseball America's game. <laughs> Santana is at the plate. 3-2 count with one out. Ramirez is on third. Come on, Phyllis McPherson. McPherson winds up for the pitch. The ball is hit high to right field. Davis runs back and makes the catch. Here comes Ramirez tagging up from third. Davis makes the long throw to home. Ramirez beats the throws and scores as Santana is out on a sacrifice fly. Ah, I told you. They don't need the big guy when they've got Santana. Damn Mexicans. Santana's Dominican. Doesn't make a difference, they're all swimmers. Yeah, blacks too. No, blacks can't swim. That's why they stuck them in the bottom of the boat when they shipped them over here. <laughs> You're going to hell. You realize that, right? What do you got left? Years? Months? That'll be $12. Thanks, Jeff. Keep the change. Thanks. See you in two weeks, huh? All right. Hey, say hello to your wife for me. Take care, Sam. Later. See ya, Hank. Yeah. Baseball, just like the rest of the country, is going right to hell. Ruth, Gehrig, Lazari, Combs, they're the ones that made baseball great. Not some damn illegal alien. You make it sound like this is your country. I mean, where are the illegals here? Columbus was met by indigenous people. They were red men, not some old-ass rednecks. I'm with you, Hank. We'll never see another 1927 Yankees again. That's a thing of the past. Acers could use a Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig is dead, Clyde. He died a long time ago. I'm blind, not stupid, you idiot. <laughs> you know, two years ago, Smitty owned that shop right down the street. Sold some damn good hunting gear in there, too. Now it's a music store owned by some damn... Hey, stop it, Hey. Okay, just stop it. Look, you shouldn't call anyone that. Why not? They say it all the time. Tell us what they call each other. It's the one thing they get right. We used to be able to call a spade a spade, if you know what I mean. Hey, Max, you know where the broom is. What about this? <laughs> what about this? Where is Alan? Hey, Pops, looks like the restroom in the back has stopped up again. Oh, I called the plumber. He should be here soon. All right, look, I'm going to head down the street real wait, quick. Wait, 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 wait. I need some help here. I have no idea what Elizabeth is looking for. Your granddaughter's deaf. You're going to have to learn sign language if you want to communicate with her. It'll help if my arthritis wasn't flaring up. All right, what is she looking for? I have no idea. Uh, how about this right here? Right here? Yeah. Okay. This? Yeah. Oh. Like this? Makes pretty colors. Yeah? All right. Cool. I'll be back. How do you sign a kaleidoscope that plays music? Hey, can I use your restroom real quick? The shop a couple doors down is out of order. Uh, sure, it's in the back. All right, thanks. Uh, hey, sign on the front door says no public restrooms? Uh, actually, we're sort of neighbors. My dad owns the music shop just up the street. <laughs> yeah, first of all, we ain't neighbors. And secondly, that restroom is for paying customers only. <laughs> All right, then I'll pay you then. I don't want your money. I want you out of my barbershop. 
<clears throat> Think you need to shuffle on out that door there. Uncle Jeb, let the man take a piss, jeez. It's hard to believe you and my mom came from the same womb. Too related? Unfortunately. Oh, gee, now I gotta go again. You just went ten minutes ago. Oh, that's my prostate. Huh. Problem solved. It's occupied. You can leave now. I think yours is broke too. Now mine's working fine. No, actually, I can smell it overflowing right up to your neck. What the hell are you talking about? I know. It takes two butt cheeks to make an ass. It's not a problem, it's a process. Nietzsche? One ought to hold on to one's heart. For if he lets it go, he loses control of the head too. Thanks anyways. Bro. So you're bros now, huh? Why don't you and your little monkey friend there, you know, split a bucket of chicken out back? <laughs> yeah, he can have all the white meat and you can have the darkies. Yeah, and when you're done with that, you can uh, lick the chicken grease off each other's fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you feel better now? Get that out of your system? You're good about insulting that man like that? You know, I bet if you were to go over there and ask to use their restroom, they'd tell you to help yourself. Not gonna happen. But you're racists. Hey, hey, hey! You watch your mouth. No. You wear it on your chest like a badge. I mean, even blind Clyde can see it. Max, did I ever tell you how I wound up blind? No, you didn't. Come a little closer. I was a kid, sitting on top of a fence, watching my dad wrangle up some horses. Me and another young fella. He brought one over to have me pat it on the head. That horse reared up and started kicking. Swung his tail around. His hooves were coming right from my head. That young fella knocked me off the fence. Hit the ground hard. Knocked my head on a board. Like that, lights out. I woke up in the hospital. That was the last thing I saw. Oh, the fella, he got kicked in the head, died right there. I began to understand that the color of a man's skin didn't necessarily match the color of his heart. Why do you say that? Just some monkey pushed him out of the way. That generous soul saved my life. I got to come home that day, blind, but home. Thanks, Clyde. Touching story. Doesn't change a thing. When you were a kid, Hank, I bet you weren't like this. People taught you lies and hatred about other races, but kids, they don't care about that. When did you exchange innocence for ignorance? I'm not ignorant. Just seen the light, that's all. Except we come as children. What happened to those two? They grew up. How's your hands? Better. I'm still not able to throw too good. Look, a reach. Where'd you get that? My uncle gave it to me. Me? Are you going to be able to play left field on Saturday? I don't know. What about that kid we saw throwing a baseball against the wall? He looked like he could throw real good. Who, that black kid? Yeah. He ain't playing baseball with no Negro. How come? My daddy says they're sneaky. Always look like they got something up their sleeve. You don't even know him. Ain't no difference between them and us. Just some skin is all. Plus, we lie. Didn't your daddy lie to get that job at the factory? I was different. He had to or they wouldn't have hired him. That makes no sense. 
All I know is that I'm not supposed to mix with them, so I'll count me out. I don't see anything wrong with them playing on our team. Ain't no Negro ever gonna play on my baseball team. Give me back my baseball. You know what? Don't show up on Saturday. I'm gonna ask that kid if he wants to play. I bet he won't mind being on my team. Hank! Don't you give that black kid my spot. You don't know no better. Proud of you. I'll have a talk with him later. You all gotta grow up, right? Mm. Lemonade. Hey, Pops, what's up with that barbershop down the street? The one down there across the alley? Yeah. Man, tell me you didn't go down there and ask that redneck pickerel to use his bathroom. Whoa, 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 what is up with all this hostility? What's wrong with your generation? Oh, Crocker looks at me like he wishes I was swinging from a tree. No. Well, I wish the same for you, too. This has got to change. This world is not changing. It's got to. For her. We need to change. Stretch my leg. Your grandson still coming in for a haircut today? Ashton should be here any minute. He has a lacerated aorta with massive internal bleeding, ruptured spleen, and a poor spinal cord. He's in shock and hypotensive. You want me to talk to the family? No, I will. How is he? He suffered severe trauma. We moved him to ICU and we are monitoring him. We're doing all that we can do.
question. He tried to yell. This is my husband, Mike. It's our, our son, Ashton. So how's your little girl? <gasps> A little bruised, but alive. Thanks to your dad. I still can't believe what he did. What makes a person do that? And I love a God that I don't see, but hate my neighbor down the street. I'm such a hypocrite. We seem to work harder more to separate than we do to communicate. I've had more words against you than I've had to you, and there's not enough I'm sorry to make up for it. You gave us a baby back. You gave us Elizabeth back to us. And I don't know how, I don't know why. Aces in a 4-4 tie with one out in the bottom of the ninth inning with the winning run on third. Ty Bellinger comes to the plate, batting a miserable 126 and will most likely attempt to sacrifice fly. So if Bellinger can sacrifice here and bring Wilson home, the Aces will split the doubleheader. I bet when you were a kid, Hank, you weren't like this. 
people taught you lies and hate you about other races, but kids, they don't care about that. Except we come as children. Now a sack fly is when the hitter sacrifices himself an out to move a runner to another base or to score a run home. Here comes the 1-0 pitch to Bellinger. And it's a hit, high out to left field. Alvarez runs back. And makes the catch. Running. Here comes the throw. And the Aces will win this game over the sidewinder, bringing Wilson home due to Bellinger's sacrifice plot. Sacrificed. Sacrifice to bring the runner home. Yes. 
back there I made it home me too <laughs> <laughs> 